Here are the exact steps I follow to get flawless full coverage without making the base look cakey, even if someone looks at me up close. As you can see, I have tons of hyperpigmentation, dark circles, dark patches and spots. So I'm going to demonstrate this technique on one side so we can compare it with the other side. I like to start with a blurring primer and the one that I'm using today is the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. I'm taking very little and focusing this in areas where I especially have larger pores and fine lines. What a blurring primer is going to do is it's going to fill in all those pores and fine lines and give you that silky smooth finish before you apply foundation or a concealer over it. So when you begin with a smooth filtered effect, everything else becomes easy. As you can see, my right side is already looking so smooth and blurry as opposed to my left side. Now for the dark patches and uneven skin tone, I'm going to color correct. I'm using a peach corrector from the NYX color correcting palette to cancel out all the blue and purple undertones of my dark circles, patches as well as spots. If you have more redness, make sure to use a green corrector. The correctors are going to cancel out the undertones. So in my case, it's going to be blue and purple. It's going to cancel it out and neutralize the skin to bring it back to your skin tone. Over that, when you apply a foundation or concealer, it's not going to look discolored. But if you apply the foundation or concealer directly over your uneven skin tone, it can interfere with those undertones, in my case, the blue and the purples, and it can start looking ashy or it can turn into a completely different color. Make sure to let your color corrector dry for a couple minutes before you use anything else over it. A lot of you ask me if I've applied anything else over my dark circles to make it more evident. Absolutely not. These are my dark circles. When it comes to foundation, I like to use two different shades. One will be an exact match to my skin tone and the other one will be a few shades darker. I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. They have an upgraded version of this now and I'm going to link it in the description box. First I'm going to be using the one that's an exact match to my skin tone in the shade Sand. I'm mostly dotting it to the center of my face just on the right side and I'm going to leave the circumference empty because that's where I'll be using the deeper shade of foundation to add dimension. And this is in the shade Espresso. So what I'm doing here is instead of using a thick contour stick over the foundation, I'm going to be using two different shades of foundation to add the dimension. I'm going to first start blending out the lighter foundation before I blend out the deeper one. By doing this, you're reducing the number of layers of makeup you're applying. Usually, we apply the foundation and then use the contour stick over it to add dimension. The contour stick itself is very creamy in consistency, so when you apply it over the foundation, which is already one layer, you're adding more cakiness to the look. So by doing this, you're just adding one layer of foundation, but with two different shades. So you're getting the dimension and also foundations are lighter than cream contours or concealers. And the result will not be a harsh contour. You will still get the dimension, but it looks very natural. Another way to get that smooth finish is by removing hair from your face. Do you remember when I first started using You Like IPL Hair Removal at Home earlier this year? It's been two months since I used it last and my hair hasn't grown back. The You Like Sapphire Air 3 is an FDA approved handheld IPL device. It looks pretty sleek. It has a sapphire ice cooling technology for painless hair removal. This device comes with a detachable power cord so it's very convenient to even travel with. It has only one on off button. You can also change the intensity using this button. There's three intensities so you can keep pressing the power button to change the intensities. This is the cooling system indicator. This is the treatment button and when you keep it pressed for long it turns on the auto glide mode. And this is from where the magic happens when it's in contact with your skin. It's a sapphire light window. Make sure to shave the area that you plan to treat and make sure it's clean and dry. Wear your safety glasses that comes with the kit. Select the appropriate intensity level. I highly recommend starting with the safe mode. Place a sapphire light window for flat against your skin. The device will emit a pulse of light when properly positioned. Press the treatment button and move the device to the next area overlapping slightly. Or you can also press and hold the treatment button that way you activate the auto glide mode. A safety tip is to do a patch test and wait for 24 hours before using it in larger areas. This device features a four-fold ice cooling system that can lower the temperature from 158 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Fahrenheit at the point of contact with your skin during treatment. Provide 
providing painless hair removal experience in the comfort of your home. With Ulike Sapphire Air 3, you can visibly see hair growth reduction in less than three weeks. Make sure to follow your schedule and repeat treatments. Most people will achieve desired results in seven to 12 weeks with the skin becoming smooth and hair free. After each session, use a soothing lotion. I'm using the moisturizing lotion from Ulike and also top it off with a sunscreen. It comes with this super nice packaging for the holidays so you can gift yourself or a loved one with you like this season. I've also included a discount link in the description box right below this video. As you can see, we've already made tremendous progress as compared to the left side just with a few products. Observe how I did not use the foundation where I applied the peach corrector because that's where we'll use the concealer. This is the Milani concealer in the shade 145, which is an exact match to my skin tone. No matter which brand of concealer you're using, just make sure it's an exact match to your skin tone. I'm going to apply that under my eyes and I'm also going to bring it down to the sides of my nose because there is going to be a shadow form there. We want to lighten that up. I'm going to let that concealer sit for a couple minutes before I blend it out while I spritz a dry sponge with a setting spray. And once the concealer is a little bit dry and tacky, I'm going to blend it out to get that full coverage. When you do it this way, you're using less concealer, so it's less product but more coverage. And by spritzing the sponge with the setting spray, it's going to melt the products beautifully and absorb the excess while also setting and locking the product. Now for the last few steps, I like to take a liquid blush. This is the Rare Beauty Blush in Grateful. I just take a little bit in the back of my hands and apply it on the highest points of my cheekbones before I blend it out. This blush is extremely pigmented and a little goes a long way. And I like pigmented blushes because I'm going to be setting this with powder, which is going to dull it down a little bit. And now using the one size blurring setting powder, I'm going to set my face. And the way I like to set it is first I take it with a brush and lightly dust it under my eyes to lock everything in. And then I use a powder puff to set my entire face. If you set it with a powder puff to begin with, it might look cakey or blotchy. But by doing this, by setting it with the brush first, it's going to smooth out everything. So it's easier to then press the powder puff over it. That's going to give you a beautiful, smooth, filtered effect. And here are the results. And as you can see, my right versus the left side, it makes a huge difference. My right side looks flawless, everything is covered up, but it still doesn't look cakey. And the steps are so simple. You're using less product, you're using less cakey products. So your skin is still going to look absolutely stunning, even if someone looks at you up close. I'm going to finish up the other side as well. And here is the completed look. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So comment below and let me know. And I've listed all the products that I've used in this tutorial. In the description box below, you can also click on the view products link on the left bottom corner. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.